Hi guys, good morning. Welcome back to Sandy's Cup of Tea with Mike. Um, so today in the kitchen, I'll post a video for you guys and I'll show you what kind of day we're having in New York today. It's all ice outside. Everything is covered with ice. So today is the perfect day to make a nice big pot of soup. And I'll show you my pot. I think this is the biggest pot I, we own. It's about 20 years old. Yeah, well, it's a pot know. that was passed down. Yeah. So, <laughs> so yeah. So in the kitchen today, I'll show you all the ingredients that we have for making this soup. Okay, let's go. All right, guys. So here we have some chicken breast. And we're going to cut this up and season it. We have two cans of corn, two regular potatoes, some garlic, um, yuca, Just some, cassava or something which like is that. cassava. Right. Yeah, yuca, cassava. Mm -hmm. This is some carrots. Um, and this is sweet potato. Mm -hmm. This is some wee wee peppers, some other sweet potato, white sweet potato, some green bananas and you know to be honest with you guys i don't know what this but is but it's from the yam family you know it's some yeah. sort of a yam i think a white i yam. don't know what this is and i don't think the grocery knows what this is as well because we actually order yam right hon yeah i ordered yeah. um yam Yams. and this yeah. is what they i actually had the groceries delivered yesterday because the weather was too bad to go outside so i ordered yam and this is what they bought me so i have no idea what that is okay so with the, these are some of the ingredients we're going to use and there is no measurement in it because it depends on how much you're cooking and let me show you the big pot that i'm okay, going to so make. this is the big pot that we are going to make the soup in because when i make soup i make enough where andrew and v could get some and that we could have extra because it's a lot of work to make soup so you just don't want to make a little pot just make it enough where you have all right so now we remember the chicken we season up some of the chicken again i don't put a lot of chicken in the soup because um we don't like it with a lot of chicken we just put the chicken to flavor the soup and we use chicken breasts okay so i season the chicken with parsley um salt paprika black pepper and some garlic powder okay and some um uh that's it that's all we season it with. Now I'm going to brown the chicken. And in the pot here, we have the water boiling. We have half a pot of water boiling. And we're going to brown the chicken. And I'll show you what the next step is after we brown the chicken. Okay, so we're going to take the chicken, put it here. I'm going to put some oil, just a little bit of oil, just to brown the chicken before I put it in the soup. Because I, I like to brown it a little bit. So put the oil there and then I'm going to put a little bit of sugar, just a little bit of sugar to brown it. And not too much, just a little bit. And when that heats up, we're going to um, put the chicken in, okay? I'll show you. And in the meantime, Mike's cutting up all the provisions. And this is how small I like to cut up the provision. Well, I have Mike cut up the provision because it cooks faster okay and then when you're eating it you don't have to eat the big pieces okay so i cut it up small this is all that he did already so while he's doing this i'm gonna put it in the pot we washed it you wash it out and then you put it in the pot while he's doing the rest okay so i'm just gonna pour this in the pot it's so nice to have when you're cooking in the kitchen. So we're just going to pour this in the pot carefully without getting burned. Um, oh, splashes up everywhere. Okay. Time to put some more water in this pot, right? Okay, so we put the... Uh, okay, you put all the provision in there. <coughs> Hmm? You don't have to put all. Yeah. Let me see. Yeah, but I like this. Yeah, and the sweet potato. Yeah. And then you can leave the rest. All right. So you put some of the provision and then you cover it by like doing the rest. And I'll show you what I do once this oil is um, heated up with the sugar. Okay. 
All right, guys, so once the sugar gets a little brown, and as you see, it's just very little oil and very little sugar, okay? Once it gets brown, you put your chicken in. Turn the pan on. Okay, you put your chicken in. You turn it, and you don't cook this for long. You just cook it for like two minutes, because remember, this is gonna go into the soup as well, okay? So you just basically want to get this chicken brown. So you just leave it until it gets brown, and then you turn the stove off, okay? I'll show you what that looks like. You cover it so it doesn't splatter everywhere. All right, guys, so while we're waiting for the chicken, um, actually, I already turned it off. I'll show you in a second what that looks like. So in this bowl, we have some all-purpose flour. Again, there's no measurement for this. I am just showing you because it depends on how much you're cooking. That's what you're going to use, okay? So we have some all-purpose flour, and all I did was put some salt, and I'm going to add some water, and we are going to mix this up. And make it into a dough ball and this is going to be for the dumpling okay I'll show you what it looks like when I'm all done all right guys so the dough is done this is what the dough looks like once we um, kneaded it okay and then this is the chicken you see how nice and brown it is this is what we're gonna put into the soup okay so you set that aside and we have all the provision in the pot let me show you what it looks like in the pot. Okay, so all the provision is in the pot and this is gonna come to a boil and then we will, um, you know, show you what the next step is. And the most important thing that I also put in the soup, which I left out, was you guys know that I love my um, Spinach, but honey, we don't have spinach. I don't think so. Did you find Oh man! All right. Well, that's part of cooking, okay? Obviously, we don't have any spinach. I forgot to place that order um, yesterday for the spinach, so we're gonna leave the spinach out today, okay? As I said, this is a real cooking show, so you forget things. You can't remember everything. So we're gonna put the corn and all the other ingredients, but we don't have spinach. But that's okay next time all right but if you do have spinach you can put spinach in it okay so this is what the soup looks like you see how it's bubbling it has everything in there it's bubbling i haven't put the chicken in yet i'm gonna wait a little longer before i put the chicken in and now i'm going to make the dumplings so i took the dumplings and i rolled it out and i'll show you what that looks like and i'm gonna start putting it in the pot okay okay so i took pieces of the dumplings and i rolled it out and this is what it looks like see and i start putting and placing them in the pot okay and i'm going to continue doing that until i have all the dumplings in the pot and then i will show you what it looks like after okay and now i'm going to i have one cup of coconut milk i'm going to pour it in in the soup and continue having that cook okay all right guys so the soup is all done look at this huge pot of soup i'm telling you Mike and I could feed the whole neighborhood. Look how nice that looks. And you could probably get seconds over that too. I know. Look at everything in here. The only thing I don't have in it, guys, is the spinach. Because as I said, I don't have the spinach and it's icy outside. So we're not going to go out just to get the spinach, okay? But if you do have spinach, you can put the spinach in it. Because normally that's what I do. But I just didn't have it today. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's like 27 degrees outside, and that's Fahrenheit, so if you can put up to Celsius, that's like a minus two. Right, so and you, you, are, you and know, it's so. icy, there's ice, so this is all the dumpling, the chicken, all the provisions, um, the, the um, sweet potatoes, spices. all the spices yeah. and everything, and this is what the soup looks like. Okay, and the nice wee wee peppers, okay? So now we're gonna plate some out and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, this is what it looks like in my bowl. Some nice, good, homemade soup, guys. Can't go wrong, try this. 
Back again. Back again. We're about to eat our nice bowl of soup. Yeah, smells Let's good. Let's taste it. Very, very hot. Whoa. That did hit the spot. Really good. So yummy. Very, very good, guys. Try this on a nice cool day. Or even not even a cold day, a nice day when you're just um, feeling to eat something comfort food. This is our comfort food, okay? But I prefer it when it's really cold, like a nice, you know, hot bowl of soup. Really warms up the inside, you know? Mm. Very good. Very, very hot. The provision is nice and soft. The dumplings are really well cooked and the chicken the little pieces of the chicken breast is not overwhelming because you know we don't eat a lot of meat so it's not overwhelming but at the same time it was enough to flavor the soup okay you stew it and then you put it in the soup it flavors it okay mm. very good please try this as i said there's no measurements in this really because it depends on how much you make it. You saw the big pot of soup that we made. That's gonna last us for a little while and plus I have enough to get my son on V. And we feed the neighborhood like she said, you know? Oh my God, we have enough to feed the neighborhood. Yes. Yes. I really do. But anyway, so I also wanted today is a really good day. Plus this morning I woke up and I saw that we reached 2,000, a little over 2,000 subscribers. Oh, hi, fine, huh? Good. Yeah. Once again, thank you guys so much for always loving and sharing and um, being, you know, there, you know? being there to watch our videos, view yeah. our videos. We have 152,000 views. Um, that's really, really great. That's a big, as again, as I said, that's probably so little compared to other YouTube but it means a lot to us you know, yeah so other YouTube it, creators yeah. but it means a lot to us because that's a big step for us yeah. okay and I also wanted today to especially send a shout out to all my family in Trinidad because um sorry I'm eating and talking hey hon could I have some coconut water please sure. um so I wanted to specifically send a shout out to all my Trinidad family, as I said, because they've been sending me videos to post, which you guys, I'm sure you viewed it already. So Fari sent me this video that um, she really wanted to post. It's some inspirational words that she had to say to my viewers. She wanted to share it with them. Also, there's a few pictures that she sent me. They were very, very old pictures with her mom, her grandma, and everyone they're no longer with us but we just wanted to show you know have you guys understand how close this family really is and they've been drinking tea and and bonding with family with tea etc for many many years before we were even born okay so she wanted to share that so that's why i posted it on my channel and also with vicky's daughter vicky and dave's daughter lily let me tell you the something. Next studio artist, right? Yeah. yeah. That child is so talented. She, I mean, my grandchildren is very little and they love to draw. They, they, they try to do, I, we always try to get them art things so they can color and draw and stuff, but they're so little. But Leandra, she's so young. She's not even 13 years old yet. And she is a true, I mean, when I saw these photos, I just needed to post it. So Vicky sent everything to me. Leandra, keep up the good work. Mike is also a very good artist. He can look at anything and draw it. Me, not so much. Terrible. Um, so she, once again, Lily, congratulations. You're doing really well. Keep up the good work. And um, thank you guys for sharing those videos with us. And also, I wanted to reach out to one of my viewers. Guys, you know when we had posted that um, Happy Days won the... Um, the rap, the rapper for um, saying that Jessica and Chris was going to have a baby girl and Adlin pulled the name out of the, among the other, um, you know, people who entered. God, I'm lost for words today. 
So it's a soup, right? Yeah, it's a soup. It's really good. Happy days. Let me tell you. Sometimes you feel like when things go bad, there's no good people in this world. Let me tell you, there is a lot of good people in this world. You know what she did? When I reached out to her for, to send the um, the gift card for the $50 to her, you know what she did? She said to me that, Sandy, you and Mike work really hard for your money. I don't think I even mentioned this to you because no, it was I, such a hard right. week. You and Mike work really hard for your money. Please take the $50. I cannot accept it, but this is the... Take the $50 and give it to your daughter to start a bank account for your newborn wow. to be okay. grandchild. Yes. That really touched us. That's and precious, I, yeah. Yeah, very yeah. precious. And I also know, yeah. I shared that with my kids already. And I also know that um, she told me that this is the first time she's ever won anything in her life. I know how you feel. Right? So let me tell you something, happy days, if you're watching. To me, you're a true winner because you've won our hearts because that just proves to us that there's so much good people out there. And I know the majority of our viewers, I would say all of them, have been very good to us yeah. and always commenting positive things to us and giving us the motivation to go forward with this channel. And we really, really do appreciate it, okay? I just had to reach out today and address this because there is so many good people in this world. So don't give up, guys. And happy days once again. Thank you so much. Yes, My daughter you. really appreciates it. I really appreciate it. You are truly, truly a very genuine, honest, just like we are, genuine, honest, giving person. And you will go far in life, as I said in the text message, in the message that I sent That's you. one for memory, yeah. Yeah, one yeah. for memory. Yes. We will never forget you. Mm -hmm. And... Um, when I truly believe, and I always tell my kids this all the time, when you give, you get, and what you've done there, you will receive one million times more than that, okay? Only good things coming your way. All right, guys, so I, I hope you enjoyed this video with us making this um, soup, this nice guys, homemade soup. I'm, I'm having it because it's really good, Yeah. Right? So. And when I cook, when I make homemade things, Mike eats so much. Like, he really overeats. He, he loves homemade cooked food, you know, but... um. It's okay, today is Saturday and I hope he enjoys everything. And you guys try this uh, soup, make it, and until our next video, please keep subscribing, sharing, and liking our videos, and we will see you the next time, okay? Stay Bye, warm, guys. Yes. The cool, wherever you are. Yes. Talk to you soon. Bye. And I will also post this morning when we woke up, I wanted to show you guys. Look at the ice all over the trees this morning. This is all ice. You see, I am not sure if you guys could see the trees, how it's glistening in the sun, but that's all ice. I'm not even attempting to walk outside because everything is all ice. See, you see the lawn and everything, the road, that is all ice. All right, guys, this is crazy.